um, Saturday haul for you guys today and I'm going to go ahead and start off with a few skincare repurchases. Skin Store was having a sale on the Paula's Choice Perfect Cleansing Oil. Um, so I picked up two of these which has been my most recent um, cleansing oil for taking off my makeup. I do double cleanse so I go in with this guy on dry skin and then I go in with another cleanser afterwards. So I picked up two more of these guys. I think they were like 25% off and then I was running out of the Paula's Choice Daily Skin Clearing Treatment and this is the regular strength version. This does come in a 5% benzoyl peroxide or an extra strength. This one is the 2.5 benzoyl peroxide which I use this um, morning and night more recently. Sometimes I only use it at night but uh, more recently going into summer I've been using this morning and night and this is a product that I have used for a very long time to help combat my acne prone skin. So I got these guys and then I got my order in from pharmacy when they were doing a sale and I got the Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. So I ordered this guy prior to knowing that they were sending it out in PR. So I've actually been using this every single night on top of the Pixi Glow Tonic um, as a kind of a glycolic with a BHA because I really like what both products do to my skin. So I got another one of these guys. I've been using it every single day like I said and I've really been enjoying this product so I wasn't mad at the fact that I have another one. <laughs> and then I accidentally purchased the Be Clean Hydrating Body Wash. I didn't even know that they had this as a new product. I thought I was purchasing the Be Clean Foaming Face Wash and I got the body wash which I'm not mad at that either because I really didn't need the foaming face wash. I do like to use it um, every so often kind of more in the summertime because it has a little bit more foaming action than some of the more gentler ones that I'm using and I've gone through I've on and off purchased the be clean foaming cleanser I think it's called be clean but I purchased that guy on and off for quite a while but I didn't even know they had a body wash <laughs> so I accidentally purchased the body wash instead of the face wash I haven't used it yet um, but I'm kind of excited about it I'm trying to finish up a couple other products that I have for body washes in my shower but it's a 8.5 three fluid ounce hydrating body wash it looks really similar to the facial cleanser so that's going to be interesting to see how different the two are on the bottle it says a gentle foaming shower gel that cleanses and hydrates skin with antioxidant rich buckwheat honey and apple extract leave skin feeling silky soft supple and perfectly clean soap free sulfate free so i got that guy and then I placed an order on the Jill Stewart website because their Bloom mixed blushes were going in and out of stock on there and I was missing the number four blush from my collection and the Bloom mixed blushes from Jill Stewart have been just my absolute favorite recently. I've got the 04, the new shade that I just got on my cheeks today. It's in Lacy Rose. Beautylish also carries Jill Stewart but they've been sold out of the Bloom mixed blushes but I've seen that on the Jill Stewart website they're in and out of stock on there so it's this is the box packaging. You guys have kind of seen me talk about these for a while. So here is number four, Lacy Rose. This is the one that I was missing. So now I have all seven of the ones that I know um, that they have. I thought that there were two like limited edition ones, but I think maybe there was only one. So I've got seven of these. This is the shade again in Lacy Rose. Um, I've kind of been just swirling my brush in there for a blush and these blushes are so easy to use and They blend out on the skin super easily. They have like a, a slight satin sheen to them But I just think that they look really pretty on the skin and I really gravitate towards them because they are so simple to use And because there's light and dark colors you can really easily customize them whether you're looking for a deeper or lighter blush because of that So I just really like these they do have a um a slight rose fragrance to them I know some people do not like that so I want to make mention so I'll just swirl all the shades together. Again, this is the shade that I have on my cheeks today and it's kind of just a really pretty berry flush of pink. So that is 04 Lacy Rose right there. And then I wanted to get free shipping and I kind of was looking at these palettes anyway. So I got the Jill Stewart Modeling Lucent Eyes. It's a quad in the shade number one Healthy Modern. So this one comes in a black box. And then the packaging on this is black with kind of like a crystal type on the front there. And this is a quad of four shadows. And they're just very simple, easy to use type shadows. I was in the biggest rush yesterday <laughs> and I grabbed this quad and just slapped it on and ran out the door and the look was really pretty. There's nothing super intense or kind of revolutionary about the colors. They're really soft and easy to use and you don't have to like worry about them being too much which I feel like there's always a place for shadows like that. I really like Jill Stewart shadows because they look they just look so delicate and soft on the eyes compared to some other things. I like super intense shadows too so I like both ends of the spectrum just depending on 
I guess how I'm feeling, <laughs> but Jill Stewart shadows are really pretty and soft. Um, this is like a satin color up here and then these three are kind of uh, softer shimmer shades. Um, I felt like I did have to kind of pick up a little more product with this one than some of the other quads that I purchased from her, but the shades are really pretty and again it's very very easy to use. It's kind of like a foolproof um, quad. So those are the swatches right there. And again, that one is the number one healthy modern quad. Again, from Jill Stewart. There are two little double-ended sponge tip applicators in the container as well. And then I placed an order on the Westman Atelier website for one of their new iPods. Um, Westman Atelier is a clean beauty brand by Gucci Westman. This purchase was definitely influenced by Michelle Wong. She talks about Westman Atelier products quite a bit. Um, I'm very intrigued by the brand. I'll probably end up picking up a couple more pieces. But I started off with this one here and it's the iPods, which are I think their latest launch. There are two of them available and I got the one in Les Jours, um, L-E-S-J-O-U-R-S. I hope I pronounced that properly. <laughs> um, but this is what the box packaging looks like on this guy right here. And then inside, there's a little pouch that you can keep the little magnetic trio in. And then here is your magnetic trio. So these are magnetized together and they pop off. So if you just wanna like throw one in your bag or just use one or something, they come apart. Um, I was really surprised when I opened it up because I had seen pictures like on Instagram and stuff, um, but I was really surprised at how small this was compared to what I was looking at on the pictures. I just thought that they were gonna be a lot larger. For a size comparison, I've got one of the melt stacks here. Um, so you can see just how small they are in comparison. Um, the packaging of the Westman Atelier is quite heavy and it feels really nicely made. I think it's super cute um, and neat packaging. I think she kind of has some different kind of packaging throughout her line, which I always love new innovative uh, packaging and styles of products. Um, but yeah, this is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. And the amount of product in each eyeshadow is 0 0.03 ounces, which um, is smaller in terms of the amount of product that you're getting per shade. And Westman Atelier is quite a luxury brand, so these were pretty expensive. I want to say they were $84, $80 dollars for this little trio. So that was probably why I was really expecting a lot more product in the pot. But let's get to the little eyeshadows, because they are really cute. The, the packaging is nice and weighted. The magnets are really strong, so you can like hold them sideways and they don't fall off. So you just pull them apart like that. And then this first shade is the shade Neige. N-E-I-G-E, -E, and it's in the gray pot. And this is a white shimmer shade. Now the formulation of these shadows almost feel like a cream to the touch. They're like a super finely milled, sophisticated type of shimmer. Like I feel like the look that comes out of these is similar to something like I get out of Jill Stewart. There might be just a hair more pigmentation in the um, Westman Atelier compared to the Jill Stewart, but it's a more sophisticated, softer type of a formula, which makes you know, slapping them on super easy. So this is the shade Neige right here. And again, it's like a frosty white. I have I have really large hands here, so I'm trying to get a decent amount of product to give you guys a good swatch here. And there was like a little heart embossed in the powder, but it is gone now. So that is the shade Neige. This next shade is the shade Chocolat. And it is a shimmery brown color right there. And then the last shade that came in the trio is Tabak, T-A-B-A-C, which is kind of a mid-tone shimmering brown color right there. They do have just a really pretty soft like shimmer to them. So that is the Westman Atelier, what I officially call them. 
It's the iPods in Le Jours. And then I finally got in my order from Pat McGrath Labs for her new Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2 eyeshadow palette. I was so, so excited about this palette, like a ton of people were, um, or are. I think people are still hyped up about the palette. Um, I was not quick enough to get the limited edition pink packaging. I almost bought the duo because that was still available, but I was like, do I need another Divine Rose? I love the original Divine Rose palette. I love that palette. It's like one of my favorites from 2009. I still use it a lot. So mine is in the black packaging and as always her box outside box packaging is just stellar artwork on there. I wish so bad that they would come up with a way to you know keep this nice heavy duty sturdy packaging that they have but incorporate like a lacquered image of this on this packaging because I just feel like it needs to be like that. <laughs> Like, find a way to put this, you know, permanently on this packaging. I think that would just be stellar. Inside the box is the card with the names of the shadows in there. And from the card, I think all of the shades are new shades. I could be eating my words on that one, but I think they're all new. Um, this one does have a sticker on the back, too, that indicates that it's the Mothership 8, because some of her palettes don't have the names on the back of the palette. So there are 10 shades in here that are 0 .047 ounces a piece, which is pretty decent in terms of non product that you're getting kind of mid-range. And this palette, I think is kind of like a spiced up version of the original Divine Rose. You have more intense type of shades in here. I've used every single shadow in this palette and the quality of the shadows is standard with Pat McGrath shadows. They're outstanding. They're very beautiful quality. The shade VR Sextra Terrestrial. <laughs> this one right here, it's kind of been the most talked about shade in the palette. Um, I'm trying to get it to shift green. I think you can see it in the mirror. There you go see the green in the mirror that's the shift in there um i have got that shade on my lid today i've actually got this whole palette on my eyes that's what i'm wearing for eyeshadow um this shade i have on the lid and it kind of turns into like a grayish slight green it's kind of a trichrome but the trichrome portion of shifts is very very subtle i feel like um it's it's like a grayish green and then in a certain light it will shift just a, a hint of pink and it looks much more pink inside the palette than I feel like it goes on my skin tone. Um, I did try it over like a really dark base to see if it would pick up more of that shift stronger and I didn't find like that really made a difference. It kind of still looked the same. So it doesn't shift quite as strongly as something like the Cleona Cosmetics single eyeshadows that I have that shift like they shift really strong. It's a little bit more subtle version of that. Um, it's a very, very smooth formula, however, and it's very pigmented. There are only two matte eyeshadows in here, which I'm not mad about. Um, I can use just this palette and get a look. I've been using this color right here, which is called uh, Skin Show Rose Opal underneath the brow. And then I've been loving to use this color right here, Astro Pink Moon on the inner portion of the lid. Um, but these two colors in the crease, this deeper one and this one, is a great crease shade and a great blend out. So two matte shades. Uh, four of her special shades and then four of her more standard like metallic shades, which are so so creamy This color here is just beautiful So let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches of this one. I really wanted to do a dedicated video on this palette, but I had a super busy week <laughs> so I wasn't able to get to it but hopefully these swatches will be helpful. I've worn this palette quite a bit since I purchased it and I do really, really like it. Um, I don't know. I don't know just yet if I love it as much as the original Divine Rose. But let me smooth this shade out a little bit. Those are the first four shades. And then these next ones. And every time I've used this palette, I've used just the shades in this palette in different combinations. And I feel like everything coordinates really well together. The shades work. They just work really, really beautifully together. And then these last two, here's that like trichrome color. You can kind of see some of the shifting in there, but I still feel like it might, I think it has like a gray base to it because I get a, a bit of gray on my eyelid from it. And then this color here isn't quite as sparkly as the one in the Divine Rose too. It's more yellow based as well, but it's still really pretty. I 
want that guy to try to shift, but it is a subtle trichrome shift right there. So those are the swatches right there. I do really love it. I love Pat McGrath's eyeshadow formula. And this is really stunning. I, I can see myself getting a ton of use out of this, especially all summer long. There's a gal that comments and she always wants me to blow off like the um, excess product. So <laughs> I just blew that off for you guys. But I feel like when I swatch them and if you can see a little bit of the flakiness or extra product, I feel like through a lens it kind of gives you a better idea of grasping the texture of the shadows when you can kind of see that portion when I live swatch them, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so that's kind of sometimes why I leave it is to try to get you guys to get a feel for them, like a literal feel through them for them through the lens. So Lastly, I got a PR package from the House of Siage, and they came out with six new diamond powder lipstick colors, which a few videos back I had mentioned that I was itching for some new colors in their formula because they have a really beautiful lipstick formula. So they came out with six new shades. I've got one of them on my lips today. It's in the shade The Crown, but I have it mixed in with Charlotte Tilbury's Kim KW lipstick. That's kind of been one of my favorite things to do recently is to mix kind of a brighter pop of color in with the Kim KW lipstick to kind of make it just a little bit more toned down and the combinations of those are super pretty so I've got the crown on mixed with Charlotte Tilbury's Kim KW lipstick um, today but this is the card that came with the PR package. They also sent over one of the bow tie lipsticks that you put the refillable lipsticks in and they sent it over in the pink shade. It's almost like a pink with a, just a hair of lavender to it. Um, their lipstick cases are are, they're the most beautiful lipstick cases that I have in my collection um, and I'm still under the mentality that I want to collect them all <laughs> they they come in this really pretty box I've showed you guys this a couple times and it's housed in like a jewelry case because it's just like so pretty it's lacquered with enamel and then encrusted with Swarovski crystals in there so the shade that I have in mine right now is the crown so I should put a little bit more of this on it'll intensify a little bit um, if I don't mix it with uh, more uh, Charlotte Tilbury, but their formulation is beautiful and it has a slight uh, hint of vanilla to it, which I, that's my favorite scent in lipsticks. So that's more intensified version of the crown and I'm going to swatch it for you guys as well. And to refill these, you just pop them out of the case like that. So here is the crown right here. It's one of my favorite shades in the new six ones. I, I can see myself wearing this a lot this summer. And then we've got S17 Mahara Rani. Ooh, I butchered that, I bet. M-A-H-A-R-A-N-I. <laughs> it's a really pretty pinky color. Right there. And then we have got the shade The Royal S18. It's got a little bit more purple in it. So that one is S18, uh, the Royal. And then there's S19 in Monarch. S20 in Royal Highness, which these next two are deeper, kind of berry shades. And then the last one of the new ones is Royal Seduction S22. Which both of these I think look deeper in the bullet than they swatch. They swatch kind of like berry cut colors on there. But those are the six new shades of House of Siage Diamond Powder Lipsticks right there. So a huge thank you to House of Siage for sending these over. I love their uh, lipstick formulation and I mean their cases, their cases. I think this crown lipstick pairs really beautifully with that Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. And that's everything that I have for my haul today. I did get a shipping notification for my Cleona Cosmetics order that I placed in February. It was a pre-order but they were supposed to ship around April but because all the things, um, they just shipped this past week and they're supposed to be here next week. I can hardly contain my excitement for them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen. Stay safe out there and I will see you guys later. Bye.